Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, we are always looking to expand our literary horizons here, and today we are looking at books in the architectural field and beyond. And here to help is Peter Miller from Peter Miller Books in Pioneer Square. Welcome to the show. Top of the morning. Thanks Top for of the morning me. to you yep. as well. I Good. love this. I love exploring. I, I have, I'm one of those people who really need to get out of their favorite genre, and I love exploring different genres, so we're so glad that you're here. Well, I'm a different genre, this bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the first book, The Lost Art of Finding Our Way. Oh, this is, uh, this is a grand book from a Harvard professor um, who sat in his office one day and for fun tried to imagine how the Vikings made it all the way to Greenland just as an as a exercise. And he realized he couldn't come up with all the details that really? would allow them the information they needed to get there. And, and, and the more he thought about it, the more he realized that our modern lives eliminate our need to know what the weather's going to be, uh. what the tide is, what the dangers are from the ocean, um, how you read the sky, how you read the stars. So it actually is a book, I, it, The Lost Art of Finding Your Way, it actually is a book for the intuitions, trying to revive the sense of the intuitions of what you used to have as, as you went outside and you, you know, stuck your nose up and said, mm -hmm. oh, smells like rain. Well, a reminder of what it meant to, to be human at one time. Yes. And, and uh, something to, to kind of a cautionary tale, if yes. you will, as well. Yeah, very, a very, he said, in a way, the cell phone has made you more primitive. And the primitive had great intuitions about millions of things and great knowledges of how the stars were aligned for their own direction. So that he tells a great story of Christopher Columbus pulling into a harbor and a, a 25 ships about to sail to Spain. And he said, I, you really should wait. Mm. It just seems to me there's a great storm coming next week. Yeah. That kind of intuition. That kind of intuition. The, the, the weather, the weathering Knowledge. the weather. Yes. I love anyway, that. That's okay. what it is. I like that. Lost Art of Finding Your Way. All right, so Everyday Play, a Campaign Against Boredom. Oh, this is a perfect book for you. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a perfect <laughs> book for you. It's, it's from a design firm, Redstone, in London, and it's an assembly of all the crazy games that your sister would make you play, or all the crazy games you would play in the car, or all the games you would play when you were... Uh, completely without having something to do and time was stopped. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, now you pull out your phone and you, you look and you do this and this. Right, that's this is the revival of those things that are uh, originally would just keep you fascinated. I think that's wonderful. Oh, it's quite great, actually. I think that's wonderful because I think we're all sick of the scroll. I'd rather do the page turn. Uh -huh. this is no, really no, it's a, it's a very good cool, everyday play. And so it's. You know, and some of them are, uh, you know, fanciful. Some of them are mad. Some of them are, you know, there's a three word. They they said, give us, give six words, um, give six words for your a memoir. Mm -hmm. And they, they asked that of Hemingway, and Hemingway said, uh, baby shoes never worn for sale. And that, wow. was his, that was his <laughs> six word. Yeah, anyway, it's that kind of thing. I feel like there's a theme here, bettering ourselves and, and well, kind of challenging our minds. What about this next book? Do you know Miyazaki? I don't believe so. Ah. You'll love when you find Miyazaki. Miyazaki is one of the great and brilliant um, uh, Japanese filmmakers and illustrators. And for the Miyazaki fans, so there's beautiful. nothing like it. And this is the first major book from an exhibit on Miyazaki. It's a, the people that come to the shop and see that it's a Miyazaki book go crazy because it's the first, and the Miyazaki fans are, are uh, um, you know, a powerfully uh, aroused group of people because he's right. a genius. Well, I'm certainly, you've now made me a fan. No, and he's a genius. So he, emotionally, visually, graphically. Yeah, oh, it's a, the he's a genius. The emotion in these pictures, I love it. There's a dragon. I yeah, no, he's great. That. Speaking Miyazaki. of dragons, the book of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Okay. Which is. My son loves dinosaurs. Really? Which is, in a way, before dragons. 
truly so, would be, I suppose. You know what I mean? Yeah. It used to be. I mean, I, my, my son, I said, your generation has dragons. Mine has dinosaurs. Yeah. You know, we didn't have any dragons in the 60s. Those were not the... Anyway, Gabriel Balkin has four or five of these books. This is her newest. And again, the people that uh, realize how great she is, yeah, uh, come for this. A boy came last week with his mom and went right to the book and brought all the money he'd saved for the three weeks to get the book. Oh. And he brought it up and he showed his mom. He said, Mom, you have to feel <gasps> You can feel the, the texture of the skin. Texture. Yes. I love it. Oh my gosh, we only have about 30 seconds left. Good. I'm so sorry. You've gotten me there's completely a, enraptured in these good. books. Okay. Let's talk there's, about this. There's very rarely an overview book on new architects in the Pacific Northwest. This mm. is 24 firms. You would never have a chance to see them all. This is 24 brilliant firms with profiles of each of them. It's a, it's a lovely book, just came. Uh, you know, it gives you a chance, because you don't get to see You don't get to see people's private, private houses. Homes. No. No, you really don't. And you don't get to see their work. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So, this was so fascinating. I had many more questions about your store, but we'll just have to have you on again. We'll come again. All Thanks, right. nice Wonderful. to see you.